Okay, so this is a sales email from our first Copy School launch back in 2017 that featured a complete suite <laughs> of one, two, three courses. Done. One eighth of what is present today. Let's hit it. Okay, so this is an email from 2017, our yeah. first ever Copy School launch. A little background here, right? Yeah. I had come to Victoria where I lived at the time to he'd flown in from Montreal mm -hmm. to Victoria, beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. Yes. Much better. Yeah, yes. much better. Um, and uh, we'd shot a couple of videos for our first sideways sales page mm -hmm. in my basement. Uh, and then Rye flew off to go on a vacation. Yeah, I guess it was a vacation. Yeah. 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 And uh, expecting everything was good. And then we found that there were some technical snafus with the video and I had to reshoot them. Yeah. However, I can't do rise stuff. Right. I can't. I can't read the things you, I just, it's not, we're different. Mm -hmm. So I had like a whole new rescripting to do. Yep. That was, however, the background on this. You did write the emails though for I, it. I, I chiefed those, but yes. this one's, this is a rye. This is a rye, yeah. So, right. so I wrote these emails um, in a very interesting time in my life. But, um, <laughs> so right. yes, I was on vacation. There was an unexpected possible pregnancy test on this vacation. There was the reshoots of Copy School panic. happening. Yep. And I remember I was writing these in a small corner of a two bedroom condo with my partner, a positive pregnancy test, my parents who we weren't yet telling about said positive pregnancy test and seen. So lost. That's what I was. Anyway, so lost question mark. Good Radiohead song too. I just want to feel like I know what I'm doing. So I'm ah. going to stop right there. I think like that's, that is prime voice of customer data that we pull out of a survey. I'm not sure if we pulled this directly out of a survey. We were using, I Air, assume. We were using no, AirStory a lot for this. I we remember. couldn't have because we didn't have any real VOC at the time to go on. We right. didn't have a thank you page survey. Yeah, it feels like real VOC though. Yeah, we've just yeah. been listening to customers, exactly. just like talking to copywriters. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's one of my favorite ways to open an email sometimes when you're stuck. Just mm. put VOC and answer it. Yep, right? still works. This could yeah. come out right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, I must have heard that a thousand times from a thousand copywriters. Mm. It's never openly confessed, of course, not at first. It takes some light chatting, then some more intense chatting, then usually a glass of wine or two. Or some whiskey. A, we talk a lot about alcohol, yeah. Yeah, Writers. It's a thing, right? I just don't know how to do blank yet, so I can charge more. Very true. Yeah. I just can't. I just don't know. It's the same line, right? I just don't know how to do. So we've got the parallelism. So there's yep. always some writerliness going on in things. Yep. Yet, so I can't attract the best clients yet. Yep. And yet, so I shouldn't bother growing my list. Absolutely, right? Yeah. So. Fill in that blank with anything because there's always something new to fill in here. Yes. I just don't know how to do blank yet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's the setup. That's the hook. Yeah. And I feel like this is still very much true seven years later. Right? It, 100%. I'm like, let's just yeah. send this email because yeah. <laughs> it's still exactly the same. It's still valid. You find yourself wondering how many hours, days, minutes you've got until your client or boss or even someone in accounting exposes, good word, yeah. just how little you do know and how little they should Trust you. I prefer all caps to bold where I can. Yeah. I like a good all caps. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, now we're getting into more parallel setup. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. Uh, where are we at? It's the reason. It's the reason freelance copywriters don't quote higher on jobs, lack of confidence. It's the reason in-house copywriters drop their chins, scribble notes, and nod along with whatever crazy ass feedback the marketing team gives around the boardroom the table. Lack, lack of confidence. confidence. So this is all still very much true. It's the reason copy school well, exists, right? Yeah. We've yeah. heard this again and again. Lack of confidence. Yeah. yeah exactly. Um, we copywriters can be, oh, we missed one, right? Yeah. It's the reason agency copywriters keep slogging away for teensy tiny salaries while the designer friends boldly scoop up twice the salary. Ooh. Yeah. True and true. True and true. We copywriters can be pretty tough on ourselves, downright nasty with the I'm gonna F this up self-talk and perpetual sense of not being good enough. And it kind of breaks my heart. So I feel like this is still the number one insecurity, right? Of not yeah. knowing or doubting your actual skill and competency. I remember yeah. in my very first agency job, 
2012 ish. I remember the whole, like my whole motivation of the day yeah. was not be figured out for the fraud I am yet. Right. Wow. It was like a constant sense of survive another day without yeah. being called out for sucking. Right. Huh. And that's a terrible way to go about your job. Yeah. You don't want that right? job. If you, you were a plumber job. and you had to go around and fix toilets and worried all yeah. day that you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> right. That's terrifying. It's going to be the day that the toilet explodes and you're like, Bob, you don't know what yeah, you're doing. But yeah. you have like plumbing school or plumbing right. training. Yeah. There hasn't been that for copywriters. Totally. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it so kind of breaks my heart. So that's like a switch there. Yeah. Yep. Back to us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because the implications of that intense self-doubt aren't exactly harmless. Now we're talking about the stakes of continuing without copy school. Right? Yes. Yep. So. It's why you charge a quarter of what you're worth and freak out 10 times more often than your cortisol levels or significant other would like. It's why you go into fight or flight every time you hit share on that Google Doc, featuring everything you think might work, hope might work, pray might work, uh, 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 no won't work. Wow. So this is like a perfect example of a moment of highest tension, right? Yeah. It's hitting, hitting that share. Hitting share and, on the Google Doc. And bringing voice and bringing words to that internal somatic experience. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's something we Damn. do. We do that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We just have never used the word somatic well, to describe it. So, just, wow. Just did. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. It but it's true, right? And we actually bring up this moment of highest tension yeah. a lot. Yeah. Because it's so real. Here's a good one, right? It's why you bend over backward at every client request, accepting their pushback like gospel. Mm. That's such how many right? times have I seen somebody presenting yeah. copy? I actually saw a really good copywriter present copy to a client. Yeah. Is when in one of our masterminds, and the client was like, "Oh, what if you tried this?" And the copywriter hit their cursor right in that spot and started typing it in. And I was like, "Oh gosh!" And this is a good copywriter. Mm. This person shouldn't have ever yeah. accepted some other person's notes as that's copy now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. For sure. Because you've got a soft skill, right? Because it's all a guessing game, and they've got an equal chance of being right, right? Because there's no way you could be right, right? I mean, you know, we didn't see these going into it. I randomly chose whichever ones I could find in my Gmail mm -hmm. <laughs> that had this. And uh, it's yeah. all true. This could go out today. I would send this today. Now I'm like, let's send this email. Why did we keep rewriting emails <laughs> every year? Right? Oh, no one else does. Because we're copywriters. Silly like that. Cool. Okay. And because of all those problems, let me show you this solution. Then CTA, we just opened the vault, fun to our complete copywriting training program. <laughs> <laughs> complete. <laughs> complete. We had three courses in it. Yep. 10X emails, 10X landing pages, 10X launches. Now yeah. we have 20 courses and yeah. it's still incomplete. It's, it's flavor, growing. Right? Like yeah. the curve. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. keeps going and going. Yeah. Yet it was complete in 20. Yeah, it was done. Yeah. <laughs> Job's done, boss. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> cool. Okay. So then we get into some bullets here, which is great. What if you could? These are the outcomes confidently. Again, you went from no confidence to now you're confidently uh, 2x, 5x, or 10x your rates, knowing and actually feeling like your class or boss. Class or boss, client or boss, owes real revenue and results to you. Like you're not lucky to get the work. They're lucky to hire you. Mm -hmm. I mean, throw it out. That's true. That's exactly true. You do the next one. Where are we? What if you could confidently? Yeah. What if you could confidently push back on the pushback? Now, this was a big thing, mm -hmm. right? Instead of feeling that disempowered, weakened, I just have to take everything yeah. as gospel. And we yeah. have the little parallel from above, yeah. right? Feeling like, I guess yeah. I have to follow that. Yeah. Because you have full confidence in your craft, you could coach clients to be better clients and fire the ones that think they can do what you do. Isn't that freedom what being your own boss is about? Yes. Yeah, that says a lot. What if you could work with your dream clients because you have the skills to take on more pieces of the funnel? I mean, all of the money makers, all of them, all three. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> oh, it's so good that we have so much more now. We were cute. Um, although these are foundational, right? Yeah, like, yes. so it's, it's, I laugh, but um, landing pages, emails, positioning, messaging strategy. We do cover those in these programs. You take ownership of more high ticket worth, executing in less time and making yourself irreplaceable. Arrow pointing to that saying lifetime of work and referrals. If okay. you're in this copy thing for the long haul, and I hope you won't let self-doubt talk you out of it, 
then the sooner you can go from a how the heck will I do this copywriter to a hells yeah I got this copywriter, the sooner you'll be in the confident, informed position to charge more, feel better, and put on put an end to this unceasing imposter syndrome that gets its kicks enforcing your feel good chemicals. Here we go. <laughs> the sword. See what's coming. <laughs> The sort of submission that would you drum that. roll. <laughs> you were going through 50 shades phase or something. I was not. You wrote it. I didn't write that uh, part. Yeah. That would make Christian Grey blush. Uh, I mean, it's good, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's good as in like, haha, it's funny. It's true. It's not boring. It's not boring. No. It's specific. And I mean, one thing I would yeah. say about this line is yeah. it's cramming three big things in. Right. And all we've really, I don't know. I yeah. don't know about the feel better. We don't think we would need to say that. Maybe. Yes. Get compi, co compi, copy confident inside copy school because at the end of the day, clients and bosses want you to feel like you've got this. They won't pay you 150 an hour if they feel like they got this better than you got this. And more importantly, you want to feel like you got this. Want it? Good. Get it. Joe. And then we have PS with an example of what is in yeah. 10X launches. Yeah. I'm biased, but it, it's a long email, but it feels like it earns its real estate. Right. Hmm. I mean, at any point you can go yeah. through and edit something yeah. and say I could mm -hmm. cut this that or the other thing. But I think given that the top sets up exactly the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. We could run that today. I want to run it. Run Let's it. run it. Yep.